This video is sponsored by Brilliant. So what's the chain rule? To be clear, don't confuse it with a chain saw, chain smokers, chain reactions, a chain link fence, chain restaurants, chain breaking bodybuilders, or chain mail, though it didn't help Stannis very much. Rather, the chain rule has to do with calculus. Roughly speaking, if y depends on x and x depends on t, then this rate of change is equal to the product of these two rates of change. If there are more dependencies, the chain rule has more terms. Some people claim it's called the chain rule because these terms are chained together. But this explanation seems a bit simplistic to me. Given that calculus was developed in Western Europe, I've searched for the English chain rule, the German Kettenregel, or the French règle de dérivation en chaîne, but I can't find a deeper explanation. However, I have a different idea. The name has to do with chain drive systems. Let me explain. A gear chain connects at least two gears together to transfer power from one gear to another. In this diagram we use belts, but in the old days one used gears with chains, just like on bikes today. There's a simple relationship between the rotational speeds of the two gears. In a gear chain, the product of a gear's radius and its rotational speed is the same value for each gear. For example, if the radius of gear 1 is twice as big as gear 2's radius, then gear 2 spins twice as fast as gear 1. Similarly, if gear 2 is twice as big as gear 3, then gear 3 turns twice as fast as gear 2. So the speed of gear 3 is four times the speed of gear 1. Of course, there's nothing special about these gear ratios. In general, we have this formula when gears 1 and 2 are connected, and this formula when gears 2 and 3 are connected. Combining these together, we can cancel out radius 2, giving a direct relationship between gears 1 and 3. Here's the key observation. This is the relationship we would expect if gear 2 was gone and gears 1 and 3 were directly connected. In other words, the rate of change between gears 1 and 3 is the same as the rate of change between gears 1 and 2 times the rate of change between gears 2 and 3. More abstractly, the total rate of change is the product of the two intermediate rates of change. That's essentially what the chain rule of calculus says. So if you want to explain the chain rule to someone, just keep this picture of gears in mind. It's off the chain. This video has been sponsored by Brilliant.org. One of my recent videos emphasized having fun while doing math, and Brilliant is a fantastic way to do this. They lead you through really nice puzzles, from basic questions that almost everyone can solve, to advanced problems that will get even mathematicians scratching their heads. I've had to pull myself away from these problems many times, they're really absorbing. Brilliant also offers courses like Calculus Done Right, which includes the chain rule. To learn more about Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash tippingpointmath and sign up for free. And as a bonus to Tipping Point Math viewers, the first 200 people that go to that link will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. Wouldn't you like to master your mathematical problem-solving skills? 